first of all, it was a sellout at the monitor. Every person that could be there yeah. was there. Yeah. Did you ever meet The Rock? Would you have been cool to see a match between you and The Rock? Were you around old Dewey Johnson? I was not a whole lot. Um, he was there when I was doing my, you know, when I was coming up trying to get a job. Yeah. So he was there a lot. And I remember there were a few times where he would go out of his way to come, to come up to us and ask us how we were doing and, you know, actually have a little bit of a conversation and he didn't have to do that at the time he was the top guy in the company and so i always thought that was cool i always thought that i remember one time being at a uh it was a monday night raw taping it was it was raw or smackdown and it was in milwaukee and it was mlk jr <laughs> day right it was martin luther king jr's birthday and uh he he started off the show with the with this promo his stuff was always live because he would always do the crowd interaction, you know, in five seconds, they'll be chanting the rocks. Right. And, uh, and then he would feed off the crowd. And I remember I, I used to watch him backstage and he would get a script early in the day and I would see him up against the wall, like the you know, mouthing saying it. And, and then I would see him with Pat Patterson and he would be going over it with Pat. He'd be, he'd be hitting Pat with it. And then Pat would give him some feedback and then, He'd be back up against the wall or in a corner somewhere else. And he was just constantly running through it. He would do that all day. And then on this day, they said, you know, in three, two, and he fucking went. And it first of all, it was a sellout at the monitor. Every person that could be there yeah. was there. And he hit just the it was an amazing promo. And uh he hit his tagline at the end and walked off. And I remember Amy Dumas, Lita, saying, follow that one, boys. You know, like, it was just a hell of a way to start the show off. He was just, he was so good at what he did because he practiced the hell out of it. He, he really worked on it, you know? Yeah. And, and you know, by 2002, because I was there for his last match before he really took off to Hollywood, right? It was against uh, Goldberg. And, um, but he'd always come back, you know, sparingly here and there for, and he never missed a beat. It, if anything, he, he got better each time. You know, I don't know if it was a Hollywood thing or what, but like, usually like, it's like almost ring rust, right? You don't do it for a while, cutting promos or whatever. It's like you're rusty, but he was, fuck, he got better. Amazing. Yeah. You tell him. I don't believe he had a match the entire time that I was with the company. He was there. I don't remember if, if he inducted his dad into the Hall of Fame or if he got inducted into the Hall of Fame. It was like WrestleMania 22, I think he was there. Dead. It was his dad, right? Yeah. That was the only, that was like the first time that I met him. And that was, you know, from the time that I was in the company, that was the only time I ever saw him at, at an event. Yeah. Yeah, man. Always, always in shape. Always just, but you want.